All right, uh, let's jump over to the Franchise Sentiment Index. So this talks about, excuse me, uh, the Small Business Startup Sentiment Index. Sorry about that. Again, this is by Franchise Insights, and this is their May report that was just published. And they do a survey every month on what is the sentiment of people that are thinking about starting a business, buying a franchise, just in general, they're doing a broad uh, a survey. Well, in the month of May, it's this far column on the right side here. Let me see if I can zoom in. This, as I'm sitting here thinking, you might have a hard time seeing this. Um, here we go. That's probably a lot better for you. So the May Startup Sentiment Index shows over 74% of aspiring business owners expect to start up within the next six months. So what's interesting to note, what I like to look at, so if we start at the bottom, uh, this brighter green and to this kind of olive green to a regular color green or a dark green. So it, it, it goes this month, two to three months, four to six months. The blue is seven to 12 months from now. And then the red is 12 months or they don't know longer than 12 months or they don't know. Uh, so if you see the look at this, the red bar, what's interesting, notice that it's just generally been shrinking. We had a big surge last month at 20.6. Uh, if you look, 13.9, it was declining down here the last three months, four months. It was it, it, it in November, it really shrunk significantly. And then it started expanding. They don't know. I don't really know. I mean, there's some confusion with this group. And, and one out of five last month was feeling that way. Look at the difference one month can make. That, that number was cut by almost half. So that, that's a good indication of saying, hey, people are getting clarity on when they want to do this. They're no longer saying, well, I don't know. I'm just kind of kicking tires, right? With the tire kick, quintessential tire kicker. And then if you look at these three green bars stacked on top of one another, these are people who are saying, I'm looking to start a business between now and the next six months. And if you run that straight across here, you can kind of see that this is a peak time period right now that we're seeing. So it had kind of been declining for about three months. Uh, I have a, a you know, suspicion that probably some of those changes in the CDC guidelines are, are impacting uh, the sentiment on what people are thinking about wanting to get started on this. Uh, so I, I found that interesting. Here's another really interesting uh, uh, a statistic to take a look at 13. Uh, well, hold on one second. Let me go back to this. I'm sorry. I'm jumping around on you guys. Why does this matter? I got, I have to answer that question. Why does this matter that 70, almost 75%, three out of every four leads that are going to be coming into you. Why does it matter that they're thinking about opening their business in the next six months? Well, it matters because there's going to be a sense of urgency. So you, in, in my opinion, if you're talking to prospects, creating, helping foster that sense of urgency is helpful saying, hey, look, if you're thinking of starting your business in the next six months, we need to start this process now. If you want to be open by the end of the year, if you want to be open by January 1 of 2022, we need to go now. We don't have time to wait. We have to move now. So helping convey that picture for them will be helpful to express that. So when you're talking to people, understand that you're probably going to be seeing that coming down the pipeline um, and that people will be, I should say, they'll be responding to that in, uh, in a positive way, uh, that, that that sentiment is underlying, underpinning on that. Here's another thing that, that's worth noting. We have a 13-month high in aspiring business owners who are currently employed. So this blue bar, this this uh, uh, blue bar across the top, these are this is represents full time employees that are seeking self employment, that are looking to start a business. And so what's what's interesting to note, you can look at it here from January of 2020. You see that bar is pretty pretty big. And in, in fact, it's the more the more than half of the folks looking to buy start businesses were employed in January, February, March of 2020, and then boom, we see a little shock here from the pandemic hit. 
And then this number kind of ebbed and flowed, but really was contracting during that time period. And we see a big surge here in the month of May that we're seeing employed people. To me, what does that mean? That means employed folks are feeling more comfortable about starting their own business. So that means that right now, today, for leads that are coming in, more than at least half of your leads, one out of every two, are currently employed. The other half are either part-time employees, they're a freelance consulting or a business owner. So if they're a business owner or freelance, if we add those two together, that adds up to about a third of all prospects. So uh, if we look at that and say out of four prospects coming in, well, two of them are probably employed. And uh, well, maybe it's better to look at uh, five, I guess. I don't know. I'm just trying to do some quick math. Yeah, maybe better out of uh, four or five, but out of four leads coming in, we'll just do that. Two of them are likely to be employed and one to one and a half of them will be uh, self-employed in some existing way, meaning they run an existing business and they're maybe thinking of getting out of it, adding your business into it, uh, diversifying their assets, doing something like that. So just be prepared that the conversation is now leaning in the direction of back to that person who's employed, champion being their own boss um, and going that direction. <laughs>